It's a historic day for Massachusetts. Maura Healy took the oath of office to become the state's top executive. She is the first woman elected governor of Massachusetts and the first openly lesbian governor in the United States. Governor Healy and Lieutenant Governor Kim Driscoll are the first all-female leadership team in the Commonwealth's history. Now is a day full of pomp and circumstance as Massachusetts welcomed the new administration and the party isn't over. WBZ's Christina Rex live at TD Garden where the celebration is happening right now. Christina, how is it? Chris, you came to me at the perfect time. Balloons just dropped from the ceiling here at the garden. Governor Maura Healy and Lieutenant Governor Kim Driscoll just came back out on stage, shaking hands. They hugged musical artist Brandi Carlisle, who just performed for the last 45 minutes. And now they're saying bye to everybody as the celebration wraps up. They came on stage around 7 o'clock just to thank everybody. They acknowledge that tonight is a party. It's the only time in the governorship when the governor gets a chance to celebrate and and only celebrate before the work begins. Governor Healy spoke about that to the crowd, how she and Lieutenant Governor Driscoll are ready to get to work first thing tomorrow morning. They kept the basketball theme going. Obviously, we're here at the Garden, home of the Celtics. The whole theme is moving the ball forward. Governor Healy talked about how it's important to be the point guard, but also you need the assist, talking about the people here in Massachusetts. Here's a little more of what she had to say. It's so great to see all of you here tonight. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything that you have done for me, for Kim, along this incredible journey. I'm honored that so many have turned out, turned up for us. And as I mentioned, performing for about 45 minutes was multiple Grammy-winning artist Brandi Carlisle. She's won six Grammys. The artist herself is an openly gay woman, married to her wife Catherine, actually married here in Massachusetts back in 2012. She brought her wife out on stage tonight to sing one of her songs with her, and you could tell the crowd just loved that moment. She is Maura Healy's favorite musical artist and sang the song, uh, the joke, actually specifically for Governor Healy because Governor Healy told Brandy that it's a song that is near and dear to her heart and tells a lot about her journey. A really special moment here in the crowd tonight. People really enjoyed that. But now the party is wrapping up. This event ends right now, 8 o'clock sharp, and everybody's starting to pack up and get ready to go home. And, of course, Chris, tomorrow the work begins. For now, live at the Garden, Christina Rex, WBZ News. I'm glad we caught you when we did. Thanks, Christina.